Hello my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon. This back here, that's Bernard. He's my October co-host. He doesn't say much, but he shows up every day and he doesn't complain. So we welcome him back every year. I think this is like the seventh year he's been here for the month. Anyway, <laughs> today I've got a book talk video to share with you guys. And today we are talking about a book called William by Mason Coyle. Now, as we get further into this, um, I'll share my thoughts. So how the book talks go, I tell you a bit about the book in general, and then we get into some spoilers and my thoughts, things like that. So we're just going to get on into it. William is about a man named Henry and his wife, Lily, and they are both um, like Henry is a brilliant robotics engineer and his wife she's I think she's also an engineer and she's also like just a, a very smart businesswoman and you know she builds companies up and then she sells them and she lives in this home with her husband Henry she's pregnant with their first baby and Henry is extremely agoraphobic he cannot leave the house it's it's an intense reaction he has and he's with the baby on the way he has this really deep need to try to sort of better himself he wants to be able to be you know a normal dad to this baby and for the baby to have a normal life so he wants to get over this fear but anyway when we meet them it's halloween and this book takes place all in one day and it's Halloween and they're getting ready because um, they're having a couple friends over, uh, colleagues, uh, past colleagues of Lily's, Davis and Paige. And so while Henry's been in the house, he's been working on his robotics from there. It's kind of his lab. And um, he's got all, all kinds of things created. He's got this dog and this magician and his sort of big project that he's very proud of that he's been working on for a long time is this AI robot named William. And um, it's like a head and a torso on a stool, <laughs> doesn't have any legs. Um, and it's got this like, it's, it's unappealing to look at. It's got this weird sort of skin over its face, but it, it doesn't look good. It does not look good. So anyway, the, the, the guests come over and, um, things are awkward. And in a moment, Henry decides he's going to show everyone William. He's going to bring them up to the lab and show them William. And <laughs> from there, things kind of snowball. Um, in the worst possible way and the house which is like a smart house um, which sounds like such a bad idea but a as you will see in this story it is it's a bad idea and from there things just really they, they don't go great let me tell you that they don't go great for these people and that's basically the gist of it it's a very short book um, I guess it would be a novella. Honestly, I think it could have been a short story, if we're being honest. I think it would have made a really tight short story. Um, as it is, I think it's an interesting premise. And I think, I don't know, I, I think a lot of people will enjoy it. For me, it wasn't my favorite. I went in with fairly high expectations because I've seen a lot of people talking about it. And this cover is stunning. I think it's such a beautiful cover. Um, so I was really excited to <laughs> to read it. And um, so that's where we're gonna we're gonna move in now to the spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers, that's that's my basic thoughts. Some people will love it. It wasn't for me. Maybe it'll be for you. If this premise sounds interesting, go give it a read. <laughs> give it a try. See what you think. You might like it. And uh, yeah, so otherwise you know, you know the drill. And let's get into the spoilers. So basically, <laughs> I knew almost from the very beginning, the very beginning, what the twist for this book was. I was telling my husband, I'm like, I'm calling it right now. I was like 10 pages in. I'm like, I'm calling it right now. <laughs> 
I'm calling it right now. And he was like, okay. I was like, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that's just like we're supposed to think that. And then there's, you know, the other twist. But no, no. And I, I sometimes I don't mind figuring out the twist. But this was so obvious from the bear, from the very beginning that by the time we finally got there, I I was I was annoyed. <laughs> I was annoyed. So basically. So first of all, we got Henry with the agoraphobia. Okay. Then though, the guests come over for dinner and the way these people are reacting to Henry, like Paige, the woman, she's like, oh my God, it is so amazing to meet you. I can't believe we're finally meeting you. And like, so that's a little weird that they're just now meeting him if they've known uh, Lily for a long time. And then... Paige keeps going on she's like oh my god like he's so handsome you didn't you didn't tell me he was so handsome and eventually Henry's like I'm standing right here like that's that's a weird way to talk to another person <laughs> and so between the weird way they're reacting to him the agoraphobia which agoraphobia on its own you know that's fine that, that's a real thing but the way the two were pairing up I was like Henry is a robot too and I said that very early on. And I hoped I was wrong, but I wasn't. <laughs> I was not wrong. Um, so basically, Henry is a robot that Lily created. And when we, when the big reveal comes, it's like she, um, they're having, because the whole house is shutting down. The, the two friends at this point, they're dead. And we find out that the friend the the man friend davis that's lily's actual husband because like henry and lily like lily thinks or henry thinks he's married to lily but he's a robot um she doesn't even live in this house with him she shuts him down she powers him down when she leaves the agoraphobia isn't that it's a fail safe like he can't leave because he's a robot so the at this point, by the time the reveal comes, it's when they're fighting because the whole house is shut down. Paige and Davis, they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> In fairly gruesome ways, which I which I, I did like that. Um, like, we're talking Lily finds Davis's head in the dryer. And so we think, at, at first we're made to think, but I thought maybe they were working together. Oh, another thing. Another thing that t tipped me off right away was William, the robot that Henry made, keeps calling him brother. <laughs> I was like, mm. and Henry keeps saying we're not brothers. And I kept thinking, oh, what if you are? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Paige and Davis dead, house shutting down, like it's a whole, it's a whole ordeal. Um, William's been b beaten, but he's still persevering. <laughs> So when Henry finds out that he's also a robot, he's like, but what about my memories? Like I have memories of teachers and I remember proposing to you, this, that, and the other thing. And she's like, yeah, no, um, I, I actually didn't program that in you. You programmed that in yourself. Like you are an amazing creation. You programmed yourself with memories. You've made all these other creations. Like... I made a great robot what can I tell you and so they begin to have a fight because she wants she wants to power him down she's got this knife she's getting ready to um power him down oh so how we find I'm all scattered all over because this book kind of is, is short and it's scattery which I'll get into but um they get into a fight and uh, she punches him and then when he comes back she's got her knife and she goes to, to cut him but of course there's no blood. And he's like, what? It's just metal underneath. I knew, we all knew. <laughs> I feel like we all knew this was coming. Um, but maybe not. Maybe I've just read too many, too many books. Anyway, so, um, she got him, there's no blood. Um, she goes to try to like take the knife and put it in his his battery pack I don't know but he knows and he pushes her away and then they're having more of a fight and then all of a sudden like something changes in him 
and she can tell that like the Henry program is gone and William has entered the body. And basically he's like, listen, you're going to stay here and I'm going to leave. And I'll be back in a few months once the baby's ready to be born. And I'm going to take it. <laughs> and she's like, what do you mean? And he's like, yeah, Henry always wanted a family. And so this is going to be his family. And I'm a really good teacher. So I'm going to come in a few months and get this baby. And she's like, what the hell? She's like, you cannot leave me here. There's dead bodies here. You can't leave me here for months. And he's like, um, bye. And then he opens the door and it's Halloween outside. And so he's still got like a knife in the front of him and he's a mess, but it's Halloween outside. So no one really, a few people notice him, but um, no one pays him too much mind because he's, I think how it's worded is he's a monster amongst monsters. And then she's just locked up in the house and he's off into the world and as it ends a little kid comes up to him and he's like what do you do and and William's like let me show you and then that's where it ends I, I did like that ending but overall this was not a book that worked for me the ending was way too predictable and not in a good way um one thing I didn't like is well, first of all one thing I did like is the chapters are incredibly short they're super short and I really like that about any book um but perspective would change like unexpectedly in the middle of chapters and I found that a little off-putting but you know that's just preference I guess um but unfortunately for me I think this is gonna be a two star which I hate I hate um I hate having to give anything under a three but just for me this this one wasn't it and I will say though if you want a book that's sort of not similar in premise, but like similar types of vibes. Might I recommend Foe by Ian Reid if you haven't read that one already or seen the movie here in Canada. It's on Amazon Prime, I think, and it stars Paul Meskel and I'm going to butcher her name, I know. Um, Sorsha Ronan? <laughs> Sorsha? Sorsha. Um, and it's great. The movie's great and the book is fantastic. Ian Reid is some of my or has written some of my favorite books that are sort of like, you know, the speculative um, type of fiction with that sort of sci-fi sort of feel. And Faux has that. Um, so, yeah, read that. Read that instead is my recommendation. Um, but if this sounds like something you might like, read this. Like, everyone has different tastes, right? So that's going to do it for me for today. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. And uh, from me and Bernard, we'll see you again soon. Bye.